subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Can Tom the Albatross Stoltman pull 470 kilos? Stay tuned. What a great weekend. Happy Monday. Why was it a good weekend? To the blue side of Glasgow. Lucas. Yeah. Hope someone won the league at Parkhead. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Monday, new week, and now we're on a new phase of our diets. Yes, we are. I'm on phase five. I'm on phase minus five. So I have sourdough bread, mince, and veg. Mm -hmm. Then I have fruit later because there's none left. So yeah, as Tom says, he's on the new phase, so am I. Uh, changed up a little bit. Portion size for me has increased, so I'm on to 300 grams of rice um, with veg. So it's supposed to be a large baked potato. I wouldn't say that's large. It's a little bit small. So I put in a little bit of sourdough bread as well, just to soak up all the juiciness. Um, so we're on to, this is our lunch, so we're about midday at the moment. So yeah, we're gonna do this, then chill out for a wee while and then go do training. We're training earlier now this week uh, just so we have more time in the gym to ourselves and less distractions because obviously the world is creeping up closely. Because so at the Stoltman Strength Centre it's getting busy and when it gets busy it gets hot. Keep liking the video um, and we'll promise that we're going to keep up the consistency because Simon is now an official Stoltman brother. And if you don't like the video I will officially drown Luke. And there'll be one Stoltman brother. Please don't do that. Because then we won't be brothers, it'll just be Tom. And who knows what Tom will do. Keep liking the videos. Um, and we're going to be doing a little bit hot and cold after training. And we're going to be answering all the questions, or hopefully the majority of the questions that you guys asked us. So stay tuned. We've just got our Budgie Smugglers delivered. The guy from uh, UK Budgie Smugglers got in touch. Obviously I fill them out so awesomely when I wear my Budgie Smugglers. I've yet to see Tom in a pair of budgie smugglers. Shut up and get on with it, man. Jesus. Uh, right, guys. This is a box with smugglers in it. Cushy. Now see. This is like fan mail, isn't it? But now if you guys oh, ever send this fan mail. Anybody from YouTube send fan mail to... No, don't give me your address. <laughs> it's not my address. Don't give me It's not my address. Give me the gym address. Yes. Right, guys. Any fan mail? You got for me, Luke, or even Simon, sent to Unit 5 or 6, Industrial Estate in Vergordon, IV180, AZ, E, E, EZ. Echo. And no weird things, just starting like... Very weird things. Weird, oh. The weirder the better, please. No, that's it. No, that's going to be really... If you want to send any spicy stuff to Tom, he will eat it. Because that's what we have to do. do you know Are we ready to see the budgie smugglers? Let's see. Shingus. Wow, there's metal stuff in it. What the? What is this? Oh, it's a bottle opener. That's awesome. Ha ha ha! It's a dead bird. Looks like Tom. Looks like Tom's belly. That's cool. Oh snap! He's got pineapples on there. Tom was wanting a banana. Now he's got one. Oh, oh we're the blue ones. Look at them. And off, of course, the spicy. Everyone's fit. Oh man, there's so many. Oh, there's a wee card. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. There's a nice card. Should we read it out? <coughs> Dear the Stoltman Bros, we've loved seeing Luke rocking his chilly willies on the gram and thought it was about time. <laughs> That's a good one, chilly willies. And thought it was about time we sent you guys a spicy, a spicy selection to enjoy. We'll be in touch regarding a potential spicy Stoltman's custom pair. But for the meantime, take care and happy smuggling. Cheers, smiley face, the Budgie UK crew. Well, guys, thank you so much. It means an awful lot. I'm going to join the crane. I'm going to use these. Like a nap here. This is awesome. We can actually showcase them in the recovery when yeah. we're doing that later on. Oh, my days. Mmm. <sighs> Smells clean, not for long. So thank you very much, Budgie Smugglers UK. Um, looking forward to doing something, hopefully, with the Spicy Stoltman's design. Sure, it'll be a massive hit. Extra room in the crotch. 
So I'm going to start off with some normal deadlifts off the floor. We're cut to low 300s, couple of sets there, and then we're going to go through to use the big golden goblets of gold. 18 inch deadlifts, so we've measured that out, so we've got three marks raised it up. So 18 inch deadlift for me is just below my knees. So it's a cheap deadlift. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just a deadlift that's cheated. Yeah, we're going to go for a one rep max in World's Strongest Man if we make it to the final. So we need to throw that in. Also, we need to keep the conventional deadlifts nice and strong, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm going in to do that after with Tom. Then we're doing, I'm doing squats, stones, and some Hercules hold. Um, it's a bit spicy for a Monday. I'm doing deadlifts, assistance, going home to sleep. Yeah, so I'm using these, um, this is an 18 inch deadlift. This is what we're going to be doing at World's Strongest Man. And uh, using these wheels just helps it raise it up easier than uh, normal plates because you'd have to stack. 20 points there, 20 mats aside. So yeah, and I think the 18 inch deadlift has something like this on it. It'll be either wheels or it'll be big square things. And it'll just move, so this will help with the movement of it as well and just get it kind of as close to the 18 inch as we can, but it's easy. Sounds like a horse. Let's go, man. Let's go. Come on, Sarah. Just last set, so I'll do like 320, 330, um, just for four. And that'll be me, you know, warmed up enough to go into the 18 inch. Maybe do a little bit heavier there, see how that feels. Um, just need to get into the the position of an 18 inch. Obviously you're a lot higher, you're kind of just below knee height, so um, sometimes when you're pulling an 18 inch, you kind of lose faith initially in the first bit of the pull because you don't think it's going to come. But if you just keep kind of digging in for that extra kind of half a second, you know, it will come up, but it's just a grind sometimes. So, um, yeah, feeling okay. Try to have a bit longer rest. So, see, this session's a little bit more intense for me with deadlifts, conventional deadlifts, 18 inch squat stones, um, and then some grip stuff at the end. So, it's quite a, a full on session. But I'm well fed. Thank you to Mr. Nathan. Nathan Payton for giving me my new um, increased diet plan, phase three. Still no donuts though, Nathan. I'm just saying, donuts might help me a little bit extra. Spicy donuts, yeah? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was okay. The um, last rep in the 220 kind of lost my balance a wee bit, but yeah, it felt okay. So we're going into um, Axel Bar, um, 18 inch deadlift now, see how that feels. Not going to go too crazy, I don't think, on it. Um, just see how it feels like if Tommy ever starts talking. I'm going to go up to 440 next set for a single. Then maybe, I'd love to get 460 for free. That would be a big uh, triple. That would, uh, for the first time doing this, there would be a massive, uh, a massive triple with these 460, you know, so we'll see what happens. I think these are harder, but, um, well, I can go like 150k more, but it's just getting used to them, so. I'm going to try and hit a free rep max at 460 would be a great starting point for me and then build up from there but I'm going to go all out on this 460 for free and then uh, we'll see after that how I feel. Ah, 
Yeah, so the weight actually felt easy, it's just my left strap came off. Never done it before, but when you have that weight in your hands, that's a brutal uh, hold at the top. So yeah, chalk it up, 470 boy, here we go. To be honest with you, I think if I had a single I could do 490, 500 fresh. Um, that's my best first time this prep doing a proper 18 inch and I uh, felt nice. Obviously, you can see in the video my 460 slip for on my third rep, which is why I went 470. I had it angry, so two, set, two, two reps at 470s, I'm happy with it. I'm just going to keep increasing every week, so it's a max deadlift and obviously 18 inch, so you're going to have to hit doubles every week and get this up to at least 490, 500 before I fly over, so. Do you ever see yourself going after the 500 kilogram? I'll go after the 500 deadlift if someone actually puts their hand in their pocket and give me some decent money for once, so. <laughs> Pranked. <laughs> Don't forget, the new Stolp and Strength t-shirt is out now. Also, the Stolp and Spicy t-shirt is out forever. And Stolp and Versus the World is out also. What's your Scott got tonight? Just two sets of three, um, a 260. Nothing too heavy. Get the body working a little bit harder. Um, I was wanting to do stones tonight, but there's about 10 million people in the gym at the moment. A busy gym is a good gym, I suppose, so it's all good. Guys are smashing it tonight, which is nice to see. Um, the girls are in doing their class, so that's cool. Um, so I think I might do some grip stuff after this, and I might wait till later on to do stones. I'll see. Um, so we might be here till midnight. You happy with that? You buzzy. You have to tell your girlfriend. Meh, <laughs> meh. Sorry, Emma. If you ever need a hype man, come to the SSC. So the gym is we're not busy tonight, so instead of doing a truck pull, there's so many cars and stuff there, we're just gonna do the uh well they're not too light uh, heavy tonight, just more light to get the legs going and then uh, we'll go heavy on Friday, so on the truck pull simulator and hopefully pull a truck soon. Is that going? Yeah. Huh? Sorry. So we're going to do a little bit of grip stuff here. Just get the hands nice and um, ready for the Hercules hold, so that'll be interesting. And then do some other grip stuff, and then hopefully by that time um, the, the guys will have finished the class and get and do so I can get and do some stones. Um, so we'll see what happens. Go. Three, two, one. Gonna do some stones. Um, two sets of five with the 160 stone again. Um, again, just trying to get the body 
but you still asking storms again because it's been a while so should be fun Let's go. Easy. It's not a bit sloppy, um, just a little bit, um, with the rain and everything, it's just a bit damp, so it's okay, just need to make sure I'm positioned, um, it's kind of central, heat set, so I felt okay, not like a struggle, but just with that sloppiness, just got to watch that, so so good. <laughs> right guys, that's uh, one of the most sweatiest sessions I've ever done. Done. So, you <laughs> that's big, happy stuff. Keeping myself dry, you know. Alright, good. I'm wet, anyway. So, yeah, we're going to go up to the house, do some hot and cold therapy. Um, do a cut, three rounds of that for three minutes. So that was a, a really heavy session for Tom. So we need to make sure that we're recovered, you know, all the time. Um, and then that's it, just chill, eat, sleep, sleep. and then tomorrow is pressing. Thanks Budgie Smugglers UK for our Budgie Smugglers. Ding ding, ding ding. That's us just finished up training, so as per usual we've come back here, we're going to do some hot and cold, um, three rounds, three minutes basically. Um, but first we're going to answer all your, well, majority of your questions that you've just asked. So hopefully these answers are spicy enough. Do you think they will be, Tom? Hmm. Tom, what's your current goals? To chill out in the hot tub until I devaporate, evaporate into a... Devaporate? And into a skinless... Chicken. No, my goals now is to get top three at World's Strongest Man. Dominate Strongman for the next ten years with Lucas. Yeah, so my goals are to cook, uh, progress, just keep progressing like I'm doing at the moment, so be nice to get podium and world's strongest man, keep progressing the British log record that I've already got, hey! um, yeah, and just keep growing the kind of Stolten brand, um, we've got kind of business ideas, and hopefully, taking over YouTube, yeah, hopefully expand the, the gym, open a couple of gyms up, um, and I just want to see all the members in the gym kind of progress as well, which is pretty awesome. easy, because I'm a tube. Any plans for children for either of you? Oh, you know, I want about 50 of them. It's just so I don't have to. Yeah, I don't want 50 children. I want children, but I want to get this year over with first and then see what happens. Yeah. I'm still, sorry, I'm still young. I think I'm still young. For children, yeah, 26 years old is quite young, so I've still got maybe another two or three years to have a shot at uh, getting some children <laughs> with Shanid a stolt man. But I want a child that's got an afro. Yes, I want a child with children. What's the worst perfect you ever had to do after losing a challenge? Mine was that donut, spicy donut challenge, it was disgusting. <coughs> I hated it. I was being sick before I even tasted it, it was horrible, so that was probably for me the worst one. It wasn't that it was spicy, it just tasted disgusting, it made me sick. Mine wasn't even a forfeit, I was apparently eating my food with eggs, apparently I put spicy salt on it, but these eggs were disgusting and I spewed out of Luke's house, I don't know what they were on them, but it was absolutely, made my mouth go on fire, and it wasn't even a challenge, it was just trying to enjoy my breakfast, but I got ruined. Who's going to win in the boxing match, Eddie Hall or Thor? Oh, well we're both friends with the both of them. So first and foremost we wish you both 
the best of luck um, and a safe fight. Hopefully no um, serious injuries happen. Um, looking at the training at the moment, um, the way Eddie battered Pa made him bleed then I would be scared to step in a ring with him right now. I think half doors is quite busy at the moment with um, other commitments, commitments, but he's still looking good. Eddie just looks really powerful at the moment when he's boxing, so if I was a betting man, oh, you'd be a hard push to kind of bet against Eddie, so sorry Thor, we love you, but it's looking, at the moment, I would say Eddie, just looking at his training and stuff. There's still plenty of time for Thor to kind of up his training and kind of, you know, Thor's six foot eight, so He's got that reach. Yeah, the advantage for his guys a reach. Um, he uses his reach. He'll win. We'll see. It'll be an interesting fight. Hopefully, we'll be there. So, um, if some of you guys went out to watch, it'd be cool to see it. Look out for us in Las Vegas next September. What's the most annoying thing about each other? Oh, my days. We'd be here for seven hours if I had to take every single thing off. His farts before he lifts weights. One of the most annoying things because he didn't fart in the corner. He farts right under the bar. So when I go up to do it, I get a big gust of fart in my face. <laughs> Probably the amount of jobbies Tom does throughout a training session. Just when we're about to train, he's like, oh, I need a jobby. It's natural, you know, it's not. Doing four jobbies in a training session isn't natural, so that's, um, that's probably my qualm with Tom. Have you ever thought about a movie documentary? Yeah, I think we've been thinking about it the last couple of years, obviously with the progression that Tom and I I've both made in the sport and kind of on a social media platform, I guess, as well. We're kind of up and coming, so we've been thinking about it for a while. And thankfully, the Mulligan brothers, they were up doing an interview with us. If you haven't watched it, um, go and check out their page, Mulligan Brothers. Um, so they approached us with the idea of doing a documentary, a feature length documentary along the lines of Eddie Hall, uh, Eddie's documentary. So we're now um, a few couple of months now into filming with them. So. Um, they're going to be filming, I think, for the next year or so, aren't they? So, that'll be pretty cool. So they're not going to get sick of seeing my face. Hi, Will. Hi, Jordan. Miss you guys. What's your favourite flavour of rain energy drink? Oh, Berry something, I think it's called. The blue, blue one. Razzleberry. Razzleberry. Because <laughs> I am a razzle. I think, I don't know, I go through different stages. Initially, it was watermelon. I think at the moment, I quite, I'm quite partial to sour apple which I didn't really care for at the start but I quite like a wee sour apple when I'm training for What's your favourite Simon? Watermelon. Oh my days bro, it has to be different doesn't it? Mary Kill, Matthias, Shaw and Lissus. <laughs> oh, oh my days bro. Um, so I think I'll go first. Mary, Brian because he's the richest. Probably Pump Martins because he looks very kinky. Kill Mateusz because he's a Terminator and he'd always come back to life. That's exactly the basic to say with mine. Kill Matthias because he's an enemy to me. Marry, I was going to say Marry Lissus actually because he's going to be fun, fun and bubbly. <laughs> fun and bubbly. He uh, wouldn't be able to take care of you because all, all Martins does is play video games and get like eat sweets, which is like amazing. What about your Shaw? Sure, but then I'll probably end up dying because he's like <laughs> squashes me. Shaw sure, would definitely be on top. That's enough Hard. information there. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank you for your questions. So we'll just set the timer up. So we're going to do um, three minutes. So the dog's just in the cold tub, so he'll do three minutes, and I'll jump back in the hot. Um, I'll do three minutes in the hot, and then we'll just keep doing that for three rounds. So three three rounds of three minutes. Um, and again, I think we've talked about it a lot, the kind of cold therapy, but Tom and I did, we kind of started it this time last year actually, in, or before this time last year, uh, in World's Strongest Man. So, and the difference it made us feel was pretty. Before in World's Strongest Man, been feeling really sore to like waking up feeling fine, which was awesome. So um, we've included this into our training quite a lot, as you guys have seen. Um, we'll do cold water, hot and cold here, we'll do cold cold water therapy down in the gym in the plunge pool we've got, or in lochs, or rivers, or naked just wearing a sporran, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's really good, so Tom's just chilling in the cold tub. Control his breathing. 
Also, if you haven't, I'm sure most of you have, if you haven't looked at um, a guy called Wim Hof, guy from Holland, he's like notorious for the cold water therapy, so look him up, he's amazing. I'd love to be able to do something with Mr. Hoff, the original Hoff. Um, so it'd be cool to do. So we'll see. He's uh, He does crazy stuff. He walks barefoot in the snow, marathons in the snow, and swims under ice. We're not quite there yet, but one day, Toma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Ding dong. I hear voices in my head, they are killed. It's cold when you get in, but then once you can, obviously you need to control your breathing. And I think once you're in for a couple of seconds, it's usually okay. Um, unless it's, this is probably about, I'd say probably about nine degrees today. But we've been doing quite a lot in the in the gym with ice, so that gets down to, yeah, kind of zero or below zero. So um, this is, yeah, it's pretty comfortable today. Um, obviously with the temperatures decreasing up in the Bonnie Highlands, this is going to get colder and colder. So I think last year it went down to about three degrees, the coldest in here. You need your body to kind of recover as quick as you can. So this is a massive part for us, this. And then I also, both Tom and I, use um, CBD oil every night just to help us sleep. The best sleeps I get is when I take, so I take a 1200 milligram version. See, there's links in our Instagram and stuff um, to suss out what stuff we use, Nordic Botanics. Um, but yeah, it's just every kind of percent that we can get um, to help us recover a lot more, uh, this does. So going in the cold, it helps you sleep. CBD helps you sleep. Um, obviously sleep's one of the best things for recovery and that's what we needed a lot of and that's what we do. Okay, let's go. Oh, right guys, so that's our rounds of hot and cold Dan. Um, I've just finished my last one in the cold and I'm going to have a little dip in the hot tub. Um, so that was, what did we do today? Deadlifts. Um, that went okay, decent enough I guess for me. Um, and then some hot and cold spicy answers for all you guys. Special shout out to the Speedo guys, Budgie Smugglers UK. Thank you very much, much appreciated. Um, and that's it, so tomorrow, a bit of pressing for me. Don't know what a big tone is. <laughs> pressing for me too. <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna do some pressing. Um, and this, every session now for me, um, is kind of event based now. And I think it's Tom's pretty much the same as well, yeah. So that's all we're doing now is events, events, events for Worlds, because we're, flying out on the 7th of November. So that's not long. Stay tuned. Stay spicy, smile, stay spicy, and don't forget to blow a kiss. And keep liking the videos, guys, please. And ring that little bell. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. You said my butt. <laughs> ding dong. <laughs>